that's nuts. Anyways, <coughs> it's been a long time. Welcome back to the show. I missed you guys. I am tired right now. I'm tired tonight. I don't even think he knows where he's at. What are we talking about? What are we ta we're making a video about... Bell. About the, the crow. Oh, yeah, all the, the crow. stuff that you wanted to say. Oh yeah, all that shit. disease. Let's start off with the crow man. The riots. Mr. Crow man. With your crow. Up there. On camera. You got a crow. Let's talk about your crow. This is my seventh crow, believe it or not. Seven is a lucky number. Seven is a lucky number, and I found it on the seventh. Mm. I don't have Mojave anymore. Rip. Rip. Bird. We, uh, yeah, we lost Mojave, but we buried Mojave out there in the desert. Where did you bury her? It wasn't such a good idea to go out there with her. It was a last minute encounter, you know? Yeah. But that's pretty lucky right there. You know, kind of told myself maybe number seven is, is the lucky one. Uh, number seven. Mm. <laughs> How old do you that. think this one is? This one's this one's older. That other one was very young and it was it was pretty it was, it was injured pretty bad. Overall age, what would you say? I would say this one is probably almost a month old. Hmm. How long does it take for them to really like mature? Mature how? Like well, just like you know, sexually from, mature. You know, Becoming a baby from being like a baby that goes hey, wait, wait, so like you know, an actual like bird that can think, and, you know. Um. Yeah, they're they're young. They're children for a long time. They're pretty much like this for about three to four years. Mm. They sexually mature around two years. We're gonna get then, fixed. No, <laughs> there's no reason for that really. <laughs> What's the point? No. But um, we haven't named the crow yet. But what, what I want to do is I want to ask you guys what you think I should name the crow. Uh, this is something I've never done before. I, I don't think I came up with a name for all of my crows because some of them I didn't really keep for very long. A couple of them I did take to the to the to the animal humane society just because I couldn't keep a crow at the time. You should put it in the comment section below that what your what the name of the bird should be and then you decide in the comments. Yes. I already started the poll on Instagram a few days ago. Mm. Um and on my Chrome N17 Facebook page, but I get very slow traffic on my Chrome N17 Facebook page. I, I have gotten some uh, some suggestions, but I, I think this is probably the best way to reach out to my followers and ask your guys' opinion what the new crow's name should be. And um, I'll pick out a top three that I think, and then maybe we'll choose from those top three. So. Yeah, we'll let this poll begin. Go ahead and leave your comments below what you think your opinion, what you think the name of the new crow should be. Anyways. I think. Yeah, what do you think? It should be Bird Morty. Bird Morty, yeah. I think Corvichan. Bird Morty. Anyway, so. This disease, coronavirus, Shit is real. What what's left of it? We still can't do anything. Everything's closed for the most part. Yes. Well, it's at least here in San Jose, not all the places require masks. A lot of the places around my house aren't requiring the mask anymore, but the signs are still up. You know, I still come across like places where they're really strict, you know, and. Aside from that, like, you can't really eat out, you can't enjoy, like, a movie or 
anything. You can't it's just stay home or go to the park or burn gas or whatever. Go to your friend's house. Yeah, things still haven't changed. But when yeah, I was... Not even a bar, for Christ's sake. When we were down in Bakersfield, though, that was different. Mm-hmm. Um... We got to eat in the restaurant, remember? Well, you didn't get to, because you had to stay outside, because you had the dog. But we, um... Yeah, when we stopped in Bakersfield, we got to eat in a Mexican restaurant, or... I think it was Salvadorian. But it was good. It was hella good. Cute waitress, too. What else did you want to talk about? What was after that? The riots. The riots. Those... buffoons stealing shit. It's just, it's just crime. It's just an excuse to break the law. Good to know. You were downtown the other day. I was trying to hook up with you. Would you? Why'd you go downtown and what'd you see? I was coming home from a car show and I saw the riots on my phone, you know? So I went downtown in my car and I was circling the protests, right? And like, there was like the, these two black teenagers in white t-shirts, right? And they had like really prominent voices, you know, they're really leading the crowd, you know, they're, you know, they're, they're throwing their chants, right, and in my head I was, I had this little idea, I was like, if I can get up to them, you know, if I can keep up with them, you know, I, you know, I'll be cool, you know, they'll just, they'll just walk, they'll all walk around me, I was working, you know, uh-huh. uh, the whole entire crowd was like walking with me, you know, and, you know, at first they were kind of confused, but then they just got used to me, and I got, I got up to those guys I was telling you about, and, you know, uh, they were just like, dude, can we sit in your car? And I was just like, sure, you know, and literally before you know it, I had the whole entire, like, crowd of people following me. I was leading the crowd, dude. I had, like, six people on bicycles, like, riding around me. Like, it was funny as shit. Dude, they are telling me, dude, run these red lights, dude, just run these red lights. And I had, like, a hundred thumbs fucking people behind me like dude I have to do this dude <laughs> they're gonna miss them you know they're not gonna wait for me so you know one guy came out from nowhere he was just like cause I had my window rolled down he had come up on my right side he was just like dude you shouldn't be doing this like this isn't safe but you should be doing your car and I didn't know what to say you know yeah but, he like, just turn on you any seconds for destroying your car yeah you know and then everyone was everyone the whole crowd turned on this guy that was like being a bitch to me, and I was like, oh shit, dude, I, I have my own army. <laughs> <laughs> like, literally, I had bicycles looking out for cops, just in case, you know? I was wow. ready to get out of there at any second. <laughs> Did you get any footage? I got it on my, on my Facebook page, but, like, my microphone wasn't working, I don't know, like, I took out a bunch of gunk, and my microphone's starting to work now, but, like, I couldn't get much audio. There's... There's a point where I was in front of City Hall, they all stopped, like, a whole crowd of people stopped right there in front of City Hall, my car it was right in front of, the, the, like, the dome, and they had, like, a table set over right in front of my car, and they were, like, standing on the table, they are standing on my car, they had megaphones, they had big-ass speakers, they were, like, chin shit, you know, yeah. but, they're, but they were, like, there for the same reason I was, you know, for peaceful protesting, you know? There was no rioters, there was no riot police, it was just us, you know? Well, good for you. I wish I was there. I should have been there, I should have just went. We could have, we could have, like, controlled the whole thing, you know, with our cars. Could have sheep them. I can't drive through that shit with my car with a State of Jefferson sticker. They wouldn't even, because it looks like a piece of shit anyways. Oh, well. Yeah, uh, shit. So what do you think of Chaz, or I guess they renamed the place now. What's Chaz? Are you serious? The, all that stuff I just showed you, all the information I just gave you, you're, you're still like, what's Chaz? Chess what if I said Capitol Hill Autonomous Zone? Oh, that shit, yeah. Oh, okay. Um, that's stupid. That's <laughs> stupid. 
It was this bunch of people, they, t they successfully took over a town, and there's a police department, and now it's like a lawless town. Yeah. Like, like some Netflix TV show. You know, I, I compare this to what happened in Oregon a few years back. You know, they didn't put up with that shit for no time at all, and that wasn't like an urban city where there's lots of people. And this was a little rural, I think. I'm pretty sure. And they were ready to kill all of them. I saw the video, they just kept shooting this guy's car up, just kept shooting him, shooting him, shooting him. It was mostly filled with girls inside. Was, what, what are you smiling about? I was just like, when like, you say that, because now I got my phone and... Now you're gonna look at your phone? No, Perla's on the phone, but like I took off the mic. Hmm? But, never mind, I, I, I thought it was kind of ironic. Anyways. You didn't hear about that thing that happened up in Oregon a few years back, though, did you? What happened in Oregon a few years back? That, that hold off where they were like, these guys, I can't really think they were like farmers that wanted their cattle to graze, they wanted grazing rights, and they, they basically bunkered down during when Obama, you don't, you don't remember any of that, just, this guy's like just out of touch. No, it wasn't it's a really pretty big deal. with Obama. I well, thought Obama was cool back then because I was a teenager and it was like the thing to do back then, you know? Of course. And like, I started getting into politics like around Trump, you know? When Trump came into office, or not into office, into, into politics, you know? I was seeing politics really for what it was. When he came around, he started seeing it for what it was. Yeah, me too. Well, I don't know. I started, I saw one thing, with, you know, I already talked about that. Anyways, did we cover everything? I guess we're good. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave your comments below. I want to hear your guys' opinion on the new little crow. He just flew up there. Make Gonzo journalism great again. <laughs> Dude, this bird's already getting used to this room, you know? And subscribe to the jive.